On day one, I spawned onto the beach as a land octopus! Whoa! I have eight legs and ten hearts! This is crazy! I wonder what adventure I'll get up to! But my excitement was interrupted when I sensed a presence coming towards me with my heightened octopus senses! I saw a Vindicator chef coming towards me! Ah! Who are you? You don't know me. Well, I must say I find that rather hard to believe, for I am Victor Clef, the Vindicator chef, the most famous celebrity chef in the overworld. Oh, well, hi then, Chef Clef. I'm Zozo. I'm excited to meet you. What kind of things can you cook? I can cook anything and everything. But right now, I'm feeling like calamari. That's meat from octopus. Oh no! I slithered away as fast as possible. Lucky for me, I was able to take advantage of my slippery octopus speed to escape certain doom. But I hadn't been able to fully escape yet. Some royal guards who worked for Victor Clef, the Vindicator chef, came running after me. And with no weapons, all I could do was slither for my life. I was able to get out of there, but only barely. I need to find some way to defend myself, or I'm gonna go from a land octopus to an overpriced dish in no time. On day two, I continued slithering across the beach. My run-in with that diabolical chef had left me exhausted. And sadly, it had also left me feeling really hungry. I don't want my hunger bar to fall any further. Time to sample the bounty of the sea. I slithered over to the sea, where luckily, I was able to find a fishing rod just lying around. With that, I was able to catch some tasty fish and bring my hunger bar back up. That's more like it. Now let's put a roof over my head. I searched around until I found some trees and broke them down with my tentacles. I was able to make a wooden pickaxe and then mine down into the ground until I'd gathered enough stone to make myself a stone pickaxe and a stone sword. With the rest of my wood and stone, it wasn't hard to start building my beachside dream house, the perfect place for a land octopus like me to live. It's not much, but it looks cozy and easy to defend. And I'd need to defend it sooner than I thought. One of Victor Clef, the Vindicator Chef's minions, the Royal Guards, ran in towards me. Hey, there you are. The chef will reward me for capturing you. The great feast is only 99 days away. And it's our job to ensure he has all the ingredients he needs. I'll never be an ingredient for your evil boss. I swear on all eight of my tentacles. We squared up and started to battle, and it turned out that eight limbs are better than four, cause in the end, I defeated him. Nobody gets to cook me. On day three, I slithered away from the beach and into the cold swamplands. Who knows what interesting resources I can find out here. I pulled out my fishing rod and tried to fish in one of the pools of swamp water when I heard thundering footsteps in the distance. Moments later, a giant squall golem turned up, ready to battle. You! You're one of the ingredients on Picto Clef, the Vindicator Chef's recipe list. List? There are even more people your boss wants to cook up? Yup, and they should be honored. They will find true purpose as one of the chef's delicious dishes. He's a genius. If you could taste the meal he's going to turn you into, you'd give yourself up now. I'm never ever gonna give up. Least of all to someone who wants to put me in a crock pot. Let's battle. But I may have been an overeager octopus because the squall golem was way tougher than I thought. I was losing a lot of fights and not doing much damage, so I needed to get out of there. As I was running away, I saw an armored piglin hop out of a hidden trap door. Quick, get in here with me. My mom always taught me to trust strange men hopping out of holes in the ground. I hopped into the trap door with the piglin and we hid together as the squall golem passed above. You really saved my bacon there, armored piglin. The name's Patrick. And it's not just your bacon I'm working to save. Victor Clef, the Vindicator chef, wants pork on his menu, so I'm in just as much danger as you. And I guess we better stick together. There's safety in numbers. Come back to my base with me, Patrick. <laughs> I've heard worse plans. From day four to day five, I returned to my base with Patrick the Armored Piglin, my new friend and ally in our joint quest to not get eaten. Alrighty, time to build you a new room. So that's exactly what I did. I gathered up more wood and stone and started constructing a new bedroom above mine. Perfect for Patrick to rest his weary head. He seemed impressed with my work. Thanks for this, Zozo. Great work. If you don't mind, I'm gonna hit the hay for the rest of the day. It's been a long week. No problem, man. As Patrick went to bed, I started exploring the beach, hoping to find more interesting treasures. Instead, I found another little group of royal guards, and they were looking for a fight. Only 95 days until the grand feast. 
We can't let this sketchy cephalopod get away! What followed wasn't an easy fight, as guard after guard ran over to me. But in the end, I came out on top. I noticed that one of the defeated royal guards had dropped something too. A stack of javelins. Finally, a ranged attack. This is going to be so useful. From day six to day eight, I was out shepherding sheep. I lured them back to my base, where I built a paddock for them. This will be perfect if I need any wool later. I was wandering the far reaches of the beach again when I encountered something I was a lot less eager to see. Victor Clef, the Vindicator Chef, now carrying a huge, scary machete. Like my new cooking tool, Zozo? It slices my ingredients nice and fine. I figured I'd give you a first-hand demonstration. Uh, maybe not. I think I'd prefer to just take your word for it. Please, Zozo, I insist. Witness a master chef at work. Victor lunged forward and gave me a slash with his machete, knocking off a bunch of my hearts. For a chef, he was so strong. Couldn't fight back. All I could do was slither away as fast as possible. You can run, but you can't hide, Zozo. You'll end up in my pot, one way or another. From day nine to day 10, I returned to the base, feeling shaken by what a close call that last fight had been. Thankfully, I didn't have much time to dwell on my thoughts, because Patrick the Armored Piglin was there waiting for me. Zozo, you're alive. Barely, Victor almost destroyed me. But he didn't, that in itself is amazing. Speaking of amazing, I've been working on a statue for you, something to inspire you to work and fight hard. Go take a look. So I did. The statue had only just been started, but it still looked so cool. I couldn't tell what it was yet, but I couldn't wait to find out. What about you guys? What do you think? Tell me what you think it is down in the comments. But that wasn't all that Patrick had done while I was away from the base. He had also built a storage room for us to keep weapons and supplies in. This is such an amazing upgrade. The base is really starting to feel like a true home. From day 11 to day 12, after all those days of construction work on the base, Patrick and I decided to relax together. What's the story behind Victor Clef the Vindicator Chef? How did he end up so powerful? He was once an average Vindicator, or so I've heard. But he had such a talent for cooking that people started doing favors for him in exchange for a chance to try his food. Yeah, I can see how that makes someone popular, but he's got a whole army at his beck and call. Royal guards, the squall golem, and who knows what else. That's because his cooking made him popular with the rich and powerful people. Lords and ladies, kings and queens, business people and military generals. He was so in demand that soon enough, he was as rich and powerful as any of them. So that's how he became so connected. And I'm guessing the Grand Feast is where he caters to all these rich and powerful people? You guessed correctly. Anyone who's anyone wants a seat at the table, and they want us on the plates. And we're gonna have to destroy Victor before the feast rolls around! From day 13 to day 15, knowing the dangerous scope of Victor Clef, the Vindicator Chef's evil plans, I knew that I needed to get stronger and settle some old scores. That's why I returned to the cold swamplands to take on the diabolical squall golem who was waiting for me there. Oh, there you are, little land octopus. You gave me the runaround last time. This time, I'll really turn you into squid rings. You said it yourself, Squall Golem. I'm an octopus, so that joke doesn't even make sense. Dread, you're right. Let's just fight. So we did. This time, though, I warmed him up with some laser-focused javelins before going in with my sword and fighting him with everything I had. It wasn't easy, but in the end, he was defeated and I was victorious. But it wasn't just a symbolic victory. I'd gained enough XP to level up and become a bigger, stronger octopus with 30 hearts. I also developed a new power, Invisibility Camouflage, a classic octopus power. This will come in handy against that evil chef. From day 16 to day 19, I decided it was time to give my weapons a level up. That's why I searched the beach until I found an underground mining cavern and slithered down inside. Oh, it's dark down here. Thank goodness Octopi are used to slithering around in cold, dark places. After a few hours of searching, I found a vein of iron ore in the ground and used my stone pickaxe to dig it up. This should be enough iron ore to work with. But that's when I realized I wasn't alone in the mining cavern. There was a fungus thrower down there, and you'll never guess what he was doing. That's right, he was throwing fungus. Gross. I won't let you get away with this. I returned fire with my javelins until the fungus thrower was defeated. I retired to my base after that, using the furnace to smelt my iron ore into ingots and build a brand new iron sword and iron pickaxe. Soon I'm gonna have more weapons and tools than I have tentacles.
From day 20 to day 22, I woke up with Patrick the Armored Piglin standing in my bedroom. Zozo, Victor Clef the Vindicator Chef is standing right outside our base. Oh no, am I having a night terror? No, Zozo, you're having a day terror. Get up before he runs in here and annihilates us both. Didn't leave much up to interpretation. I slithered out of bed, grabbed my sword, and turned invisible. I snuck outside to get the jump on Victor. I saw him standing there, right in front of the base, his machete looking as shiny and deadly as ever. I needed to be really careful, even though I was invisible. Hmm, that Zozo has got to be around here somewhere. I smell fresh seafood, but I can't see him anywhere. And now was my chance. It was time for a sneak attack. I ran up behind him, turned visible, and struck him with my sword. He seemed surprised by my attack, and I hit him again before he could even hit me back. You slippery little molluscule! The battle was on! Victor was still extremely tough, but this time I was a little more ready to face him. By the time he stepped away from the fight, he looked worn out. This… this isn't the best use of my time. I'm going to go and prepare other dishes. I'll come back for you later, Zozo. I'll serve you fresh! Victor ran off after that. I was amazed I'd survived. But now, I also knew there was hope for me. A lowly land octopus to defeat the deadliest chef in the land. From day 23 to day 26, I was walking around the beach by my base when I spotted something in the sand. Hey, what's this? I took a closer look and saw that it was a shield of the deep. Wow, this is pretty snazzy. It must have washed up on shore. I'm so lucky. I picked up the shield and tried it out. The shield is amazing. I can't wait to try it out in a real fight. As I was walking back to my base with my new shield, I saw something written in the sand. Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. Hey, that's me. That reminds me, if you want to see more of my adventures, you can find them by searching Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. From day 27 to day 31, I woke up to the sound of Patrick the Armored Piglin in my room. Zozo, I've been working on the statue. Come take a look. I followed him to the statue and admired the progress he'd made. This looks great. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Thank you. I can tell it's missing something, but I'm not sure what. What if you added some gold? That's a great idea. There should be some out in the dunes. Would you be so kind as to go out and gather some for me? Sure. I traveled to the dunes and started searching for gold. While I was looking around, a group of royal guards spotted me. Look, that evasive octopus is back. The grand feast approaches. We can't let him get away this time. Told you before, I'm not gonna be a dish at your feast. I just need some stuff for a statue. You can come willingly, or we can throw you into the pot ourselves. Or third option, I do this. I charged at the guards and attacked with my sword. They weren't ready for me to be so bold, and it gave me the advantage I needed to win. From day 32 to day 35, I was happy to begin another day where I wasn't somebody's meal. The feast getting closer, they're gonna be more desperate to catch me. I'll need to be on guard and do everything I can to get stronger. Uh, excuse me? I uh, know you're talking to yourself right now, but could you maybe help me out? I looked, and there was a poison anemone in front of me. Oh, sure. What do you need help with? Someone working for Chef Clef kidnapped my friend, the killer bunny. He said something about making her into rabbit stew, and I'm so worried. I'm not much of a fighter, so I'd really appreciate it if you could lend a tentacle. Heck, I'll lend all eight. Show me where to go. From day 36 to day 39, I followed the poison and enemy's directions and listened for the sound of a killer bunny in danger. I ended up outside of a small base further along the dunes and stopped when I heard a terrified voice coming from inside. Help! Somebody help! I turned invisible and snuck inside. There, I saw a strider, keeping the killer bunny locked up in a cage. So I snuck up behind the strider and turned visible just in time to strike him with my sword. Ouch! Where'd you come from? Never mind, an octopus and a rabbit will surely give me an invitation to the great feast. All this for a party you're not even invited to? That's pretty sad, buddy. Ah, uh, shut up. You're the sad one. From day 40 to day 43, I continued my fight with the Strider. He lunged at me, but I countered with another attack. And before long, he was knocked down for good. Bunny, I'm here to help. I grabbed a key off the ground and unlocked the cage. Thank you so much. I thought I was going to wind up with somebody's soup for sure. Not on my watch. I'm on that ingredient list, too. We've got to stick together so we don't end up on a plate. 
Your friend sent me. Come on. I led the killer bunny back to the poison anemone, and he couldn't have been happier. Here, I want you to take this potion of healing as a thank you. I spent so much time being poisonous, it's given me a real talent for making healing potions. You wouldn't believe how much they come in handy. Thank you. You both stay safe. Watch out for Chef Clef and his goons. From day 44 to day 49, I finally managed to gather some gold after my side quest was complete. So I headed back to my base to give Patrick the Armored Piglin everything he needed to finish the statue. Patrick, I've got your gold. Thank you so much, Zozo. I'll get right to work. Well, Patrick's working on the statue. Maybe I should start a project too. Oh, I know. I'll build a perimeter wall to keep the base safe in case Victor Clef, the Vindicator Chef, tries to break in and cook me up again. I built a huge wall around the perimeter of the base, and when I was finished, I took a step back and admired my work. Awesome! I definitely feel a lot safer now. I wonder how it's going with Patrick. I headed back over to check out the statue, and the gold really added a lot to it. This looks great, Patrick. Nice job! Can you tell what it is yet? Not yet, but there's definitely something familiar about it. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. I'm almost there. From day 50 to day 53, I was starting to feel nervous. We're halfway to the great feast, and I'm scared that Chef Clef is going to try something sneaky. I'm sure he and his goons are starting to get desperate. Just then, Patrick the Armored Piglin ran to my room to confirm my fears. Zozo, there are a bunch of royal guards breaking through the perimeter wall. Oh no, is Chef Clef with them? No, but he's nearby. I can hear him yelling orders to all of them. So he won't even face me himself, that cowardly so-and-so. I charged out of my room, and sure enough, there were royal guards storming my home. Grab the piglin, then get the octopus. No, get away from him. I tried to stop the royal guards, but a whole bunch of them attacked me to keep me busy while one grabbed Patrick and dragged him away. I'll come save you as soon as I can, I promise. The royal guards closed in around me, but I fought back taking them out one by one. When I finally finished, I grew into a bigger octopus. My heart's increased to 50, and I realized I had a new ability. Whoa, I can shift shape now. You watch yourself, chef. I'm going to get my friend back. From day 54 to day 57, I went into my room and thought about what just happened. What should I do? I need to figure out a way to get Patrick back. If only I knew someone who had dealt with a kidnapped friend before. Wait a minute. I do know someone, that poisoned an enemy. I don't have much time to waste. I need to go to the dunes now. I ran to the dunes as fast as my tentacles could carry me and stopped at the poisoned an enemy's home. Hello, it's Zozo, I need your help. Oh, Zozo, welcome. Anything for the octopus that helped me get Bunny back? Chef Clef kidnapped my friend. I think he wants to turn him into bacon. I have to get him back. Yikes, that's terrible. Well, he probably took your friend back to his base. So you'll definitely need to bring your strongest weapons if you're gonna make it in and out of there without getting grilled. Literally. Do you have any diamond weapons? Not yet. Then my advice is to get mining. And fast. Then check the flowering grove. I've heard that Chef Clef holds his prisoners in a base there. From day 58 to day 62, I rush back into the mines. Okay, diamonds, time to get mine. So anyway, I started mining, and I kept digging until I saw something sparkly. Yes, diamonds! I dug up all the diamonds and was getting ready to carry them back to my base when a spider suddenly crawled out of the shadows and bit me. Hey, back off, creepy crawly. I thought us eight-legged freaks could stick together, but I guess not. Spider didn't answer, he bit me again. Come on, I guess I'll have to squash this bug. I attacked the spider with my sword and managed to defeat it pretty quickly. Can't let a spider slow me down while I'm trying to get ready for a rescue mission. I took the diamonds back to my base and used them to craft a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. Look at this. I'm so ready to fight Chef Clef now. From day 63 to day 66, I was trying out my new diamond sword and practicing my fighting. I was running all over the base, getting really carried away. And before I knew it, I ended up looking at the statue that Patrick had been working on. Oh, I almost forgot. I made this sword for a reason. I can't forget my mission. I have to go to Chef Clef's base and get Patrick back. He's not gonna wanna end up on a banquet table. I won't let that happen. I took one more look at that beautiful statue. Still can't tell what it is, but I'll make sure Patrick gets the chance to finish it. 
Also, before I forget, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing adventures in Minecraft. Time for me to go and save my friend. From day 67 to day 70, I traveled to the flowering grove to try and fight for my friend back. It didn't take me long to spot Chef Clef's base. It was huge and evil looking, and I knew right away that it belonged to a bad guy. I couldn't run right inside. There were royal guards stationed all over the place. I guess I'll have to fight my way in. Oh look, it's that slippery octopus that keeps eluding our grass. Greek, capture him so the chef can prepare him. The feast is only 30 days away. Maybe he can serve roasted pig and octopus. <laughs> no, no one's gonna eat me or any of my friends. I don't care what kind of huge feast you have planned. Chef Clef is just going to have to deal with the disappointment. No one disappoints the Vindicator Chef. Perish for your foolish words. With that, the royal guards charged at me. Using my diamond sword, I fought them all until there was no more guards left. Wait a minute, I can shapeshift now. I'll turn into a guard and no one will know it's me. I shapeshifted into a royal guard and headed inside. I just have to keep walking and look confident. They'll never know the difference. From day 71 to day 74, I was strolling through the Vindicator Chef's base as casually as I could. I even whistled to myself a little bit, just to look like I was extra casual. But a little while into my exploration, a squall golem confronted me. You, God, what are you doing in this area? You're supposed to be patrolling outside and keeping an eye out for that octopus. Oh, um, I'm on a special mission from the boss. Yeah, that's it. I didn't hear anything about a special mission. That sounds pretty suspicious to me. Say, what's the royal god secret handshake? If you're really a god, surely you know the handshake. Um, it's a big thumbs up. Intruder! Intruder! A squall golem attacked me, and I shifted back into my true shape. I knew it! You're that octopus! I may not be a real guard, but I still can fight! A squall golem lunged at me, and I countered with my diamond sword. I was so much stronger than before. He was big and tough, but I still managed to defeat him. I was a close one. I hope nobody heard him. As I was getting ready to leave the room, I spotted a chest. Ooh, what's in here? I opened it up and found a full set of diamond armor. Hey, this matches my sword, and it'll protect me. Functional and fashionable. Help, help, somebody help. Patrick, he must be in here. I turned invisible and followed the sound of Patrick's voice. From day 75 to day 78, I snuck into the next area of the base, using my invisibility to stay out of sight. I found myself in the chef's kitchen, and there, in a cage in the corner, was Patrick the Armored Piglin. Oh no, it looks like he's getting ready to cook Patrick. Let's see, how should I prepare you? Barbecue pork, bacon, sausage? If I stop at just one way, you've got a lot of meat on your bones. I can make all three. Please, don't eat me! I'm afraid it can't be helped. I have a lot of people to feed at my feast, and I have a reputation of culinary excellence to uphold. Some sacrifices must be made. You don't get to be a world-famous celebrity chef without them. You know the expression? If you want to make an omelette, you have to break a few eggs. In this scenario, you're one of the eggs. At that moment, I turned visible again and drew my sword. He's not an egg, he's my friend! Oh, Zozo! How nice of you to deliver yourself straight to my kitchen! Good news! I've decided to upgrade you from appetizer to main course! <laughs> While he was gloating, I attacked, knocking the chef back! While he was recovering from the hit, I quickly unlocked the cage and set Patrick free! Run, Patrick! Run home! I'll meet you there! Thank you, Zozo! Be careful! Patrick ran out of the room, and I turned back to the Vindicator Chef to continue our fight. But when I looked, he was gone. Hey, where'd you go? We weren't done fighting. Could hear his voice coming from another room. Oh, we'll fight again, Zozo. And next time, it'll end with you on a serving platter. From day 79 to day 84, I ran out of the Vindicator Chef's base and started my journey home. Meanwhile, in his back room, Victor Clef, the Vindicator Chef, was whipping up a new culinary creation. It wasn't a dish this time, but a potion. This may not be my most delicious recipe, but it will bring me a truly tasty victory. Potion of strength, let's see how you do. 
He drank the potion and became larger. He flexed his new muscles and cackled evilly. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and defeat me now, Zozo. With this new power, there isn't an ingredient in the land who can escape me. I'll cook anything and anyone I please. From day 85 to day 89, I arrived back at my base. When I got there, Patrick was waiting for me. You did it, Zozo. You saved me. You're amazing. Thanks for saving my bacon back there. Of course, you're my friend. But the fight isn't over. Victor Clef, the Vindicator Chef, got away from me before I could try to finish the battle. I don't know what he's planning next. Me neither, but I do have something that I think can help you. On my way out of the base, I found this book. It contains a fire aspect enchantment. You can enchant your sword and use it to set fire to a target. Let's see how the chef likes being cooked for a change. Awesome, I'll try it out. While you do, I'm gonna finally finish that statue. I used my fire aspect enchantment to enchant my sword and it worked great. By the time I was done, Patrick was finished with the statue, so I decided to take a look at it. Wow, it's amazing. Can you tell what it is now? Yes, it's an octopus. Thank you, Patrick, I love it. I hope that the confidence from this octopus statue and the power of your new enchanted sword give you the strength to defeat the Vindicator Chef. The feast is getting closer and closer, and we have to be ready. What else can I do to get ready? I've heard there's a potion of power hidden out in the dunes. The area is protected by royal guards, but I know you can beat them and get inside. From day 90 to day 94, I followed Patrick's instructions and traveled to the dunes. Once I was there, all I had to do was look for the cluster of royal guards, and then I knew I was in the right place. Infernal octopus, you won't get away from us this time. Well, I've gone away every other time, so I think my odds are pretty good. They didn't like that very much, and they charged at me to attack. But I set them ablaze with my newly enchanted sword and burnt them all to a crisp. I hope the chef likes his guards well done. There was no one around to hear my hilarious joke, but I laughed at it anyway. Next, I headed into the building and looked for that potion. Chest, I bet it's in here. I broke the chest open and I was right. There was a potion of power inside. Should I drink it right now? No, I'd better wait until I really need it. This will be my secret ingredient. From day 95 to day 97, I traveled back to my base. The feast is only a few days away. I'm running out of time to prepare. Let's see, I've got the enchantment on my sword. I've got a potion of power. What else can I do to make sure I'm ready? Just then, I heard someone at the entrance to my base. Uh oh, I wonder who that is. When I went to check, I was happy to see that it was the poison anemone. Zozo, I've heard you're getting ready to take down Victor Clef, the Vindicator Chef. I want to help. Really? But you're safe from him. He doesn't want to cook with the poison anemone. You'd make his dinner guest sick. That may be true, but he's targeted, my friends. Once you go after people I care about, that gets me pretty steamed. No pun intended. So I brought you this. I never had much use for it, but I bet a warrior like you could get a lot out of it. I wasn't sure what to expect, but my jaw dropped when he produced a full set of netherite armor. Whoa, this stuff is really rare. Is it? I don't know much about fighting. I'm an anemone without many enemies, you see. But I'm glad. If he can help protect the creatures on the chef's ingredient list, then I know I've done my part. Bunny would be hopping mad at me if I didn't contribute something, and I'd be pretty mad at myself too. Well, you've helped a ton. Thank you. For a poisoned anemone, you're really nice. Well, even though I'm poisonous, I try not to be toxic. Good luck, Zozo. On day 98, I spent the day getting all of my gear together. I had my netherite armor, my sword, my potion of power, and all of the strength and encouragement I got from my friends. I feel like I finally have everything I need. The only thing left to do now is get back to the Vindicator Chef's lair and put a stop to this. Only two days until the feast, and the only thing I want to be served is justice. As I was about to leave, I couldn't help but feel like I was forgetting something. Oh, I know. Don't forget to search for more Zozo videos and leave a comment about who you want to see me play as next. On day 99, I made my journey to the flowering grove, back to the lair of Victor Clef, the Vindicator Chef. No guard outside. Guess I finally defeated all of them. I don't know what's waiting for me inside. I think now is the moment for my secret ingredient. Let's see how much power this potion really has. 
I grabbed the potion of power and drank every last drop. Whoa, I definitely feel it. Immediately, I started to transform into an even bigger, stronger, tougher octopus than before. I'm huge, and my hearts have increased. I have 100 now. Okay, it's time to go in. Feeling powerful, I let my tentacles carry me inside the base. No shape-shifting or invisibility this time. I want the chef to see me coming and know what he's up against. I found him in the kitchen. Whoa, he looks a lot bigger than last time. Good thing I'm much bigger too. Well, look at you. I guess I'll be serving very generous portions of octopus as a feast tomorrow. No one's going to be eating anything except for you and this humble pie I'm about to serve. Hey, I'm not familiar with that particular cuisine. It's an expression. It means I'm going to kick your butt. The Vindicator Chef lunged at me, knocking me back. But my new armor protected me from taking any damage. Now, it's my turn. I drew my sword and used the fire enchantment, setting the Vindicator Chef on fire. Ow, 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 you cut that out. It's not fun being cooked, is it? You can't do this to me. I'm famous. I'm a celebrity. I don't care how famous you are. You can't keep hurting people, especially not my friends. He tried to attack me again, but he was too weak now. And in just one more hit, I finally managed to defeat him. On day 100, I traveled back home. Can't believe I did it. Everyone is safe now. When I arrived home, I saw that Patrick was throwing a big party for me. First, I spoke to Patrick. Congratulations, Zozo. I knew you could do it. And then, the poison anemone. You saved the day. You saved everyone. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, all that fighting worked up a pretty big appetite. I kind of feel like having a feast.